So here is a sample of the stinger, which I've just pulled out of a dying bee. Sadly, she was already on the ground, not doing well. I think she was ending her life for the day. And uh, here it is, pulsating the sac. And you can see the poison in there as it is coming out of the stinger. You can see the, uh, the poison itself coming out. And it just keeps on pumping it in. Uh, pumping it out, not in. Um, interesting. I'll see if I can move this a little bit. So you have a better vision of it. You can probably even notice the return hooks on the stinger itself. So as you can see that muscle just keeps going on its own, of its own accord just keeps pulsating and pumping the bee stinging poison into its prey so that is why why it is so important to use your nail or anything that's sharp and as soon as you possibly can try to come in from underneath here and pull the stinger out of your skin so that all this liquid that you see jerking in and out of that sack does not get into your system you can save yourself a lot of pain if you if you get it out really quickly I hope you found this interesting